Hello everyone and welcome to the third best of three in the uh, follow-up tournament of the Intel Extreme Masters Season 2. This time we see a Night Elf versus Org matchup between two players uh, playing their main races. And those players are the Night Elf player from Belarus, Nightwolf, spawning here in yellow on uh, the top left of Tarina stand. He is going for Alter, Muno and an Ancient of War in front of the Goblin Laboratory. And uh, his opponent from Denmark is the Orc player Ciara in red in the bottom right spawn position who is playing standard so far as well. I mean, this is a pretty crucial best of three for both of the players. Ciara has had a good start in this tournament as he's been able to take down Protoys with 2-0. Two uh, Nightwolf, not so much. He uh, lost against Protoys quite clearly with 2-0 two two in the best of three we saw previously. And uh, therefore, Ciara only needs one map win in this best of three in order to go straight to the finals. Whereas uh, Nightwolf needs a 2-0 victory just to basically equalize the tournament and put all three players at um, one victory and one defeat with a total map score of 2-2 two 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 to basically force the tournament to be uh, repeated. And uh, yeah, we see Blademaster first on the side of Ciara, uh, Demon Hunter for Nightwolf, so the expected hero choices on both sides. And as I said in the beginning, it is a Night Elf versus Orc matchup, and both of the players have been doing pretty well in that matchup so far in the tournament. Um, Nightwolf being able to take down uh, Knopf, his only Orc opponent in Group A, and uh, Ciara winning all of his Orc versus Night Elf matchups in Group B in which he faced uh, Satini, Sase, and Trash. But he ended up losing against uh, Paladin in an Orc uh, Night Elf matchup in the playoffs, which, you know, basically cost him the finals previously and uh, put him in this follow-up tournament. So let's see which, you know, side of Ciara's Night Elf versus Orc matchup we're going to see. In this best of three, scouts on both sides see what's happening. Both players start with some creeping. Blade Master with the Cloak of Shadows, Demon Hunter with um, Gloves of Haste. Well, not particularly lucky for him. And let's see what the Blade Master is getting. Yeah, <laughs> the worst item drops possible thus far, so uh, Demon Hunter can. Uh, at least be somewhat glad about the Gloves of Haste and the Gauntlets of Ogre Strength that he has found here previously. Uh, Scout Pian has gone down here against the Creeps apparently, <laughs> which Nightwolf also realized. Uh, yeah, the Sasquatch and the other Creeps staring at the Goblin Merchant right now, which, uh, you know, points towards them having moved previously. Blade Master and Von Grunt are moving out. Tech has started for the Orc. Tech has started for the Night Elf a little bit more quickly. And it looks like Ciara is going to get aggressive here. Demon Hunter uh, killed only two of the three creeps turning around here to get the uh, Dust of Appearance and I guess eventually the Boots of Speed and the Blade Master. Seeing what's happening here is turning around and apparently not contesting those Boots of Speed. Dust has been used a little bit uh, before 19 o'clock, but as the Blade Master isn't there, of course those boots are going to the Demon Hunter. Another two archers have already been produced, so um, the Ancient of War is not going to be used for further creeping at the Goblin Merchant, whereas uh, Ciara in the meantime is uh, yeah, just sitting back and creeping on his own. As we can see, he's only carrying one stack of heal staffs, which has been reduced to one charge of heal staffs by now, so um, given that he's creeping this, and especially creeping this on top of things, uh, he's gonna be taking quite a bit of damage on everything here as those are two poison creeps in a row and he doesn't have a huge load of uh, heal stuffs in his inventory. As pre previously mentioned, Demon Hunter is creeping up to level 3 here, which is actually not quite going to get because creeping the three camps on the top exactly provides a level 3 and he didn't kill this kobold yet, so uh, yeah, he's not going to be level 3, but it looks like he's going to... Uh, Make sure he's getting it just now. The Blade Master in the meantime is also going to creep up to level 3 already though. So both of the players creeping their first heroes to level 3. But uh, on top of things, well let me put it like that. The upside for the Orc is that usually if he allows the Knight to have to creep, he's going to be uh, level 3 before the Orc is. 
but since Nightwolf decided not to use his Ancient of War, both of them are similarly leveled, but Nightwolf was able to um, afford the time to build four additional archers, so I guess the question of how well he's going to be able to use those is probably going to point towards uh, who's going to have an advantage going into the late game. And uh, Beastmaster picked up second on the side of Nightwolf, not adding anything else yet. He's lacking gold a little bit since he's, you know, built four additional archers and uh, therefore doesn't have to go to build his two Ancients of Wind as well as the tier 3 immediately. In the meantime, uh, Spirit Lodge and Beast coming for Ciara as well as his Shadow Hunter second, which he's always playing against uh, Night Elf. Blade Master selling another item and getting the Boots of Speed. So the only useful item he's found thus far was up here, the Circlet of Nobility. Everything else was crap. Basically, Beastmaster and Archers are finally leaving the base after the Blade Master basically was able to distract them for long enough to ensure the tier 2 building is coming up safely. Shadowhunter is going to spawn in a second and the Beastmaster is going to go ahead and use those Archers to creep one of the biggest camps on the map. He's going to get Kobold Taskmaster killed. Blade Master in the meantime getting uh, Clarity, getting a heal staff. Beastmaster getting one of Mana Stealing. That's a bit unfortunate. But nothing he can do about that. And another PN is falling, revealing where the Demon Hunter is. And the Blade Master appears to have an idea of uh, what Nightwolf is doing here. Shadow Hunter is also moving in that direction, perhaps also just to creep uh, the corner expansion. But now, as the archers have been found here, this could be very, very painful for the Night Elf player, as the Demon Hunter is totally out of position down at the natural expansion of the Orc. And he's carrying the town pole, the Beastmaster isn't. And those archers are going to be completely exposed to the level 3 Blade Master and the Shadow Hunter with his hex and the grunts, of course. The second one has already fallen, the third one is easily going to fall as well. And this one, as it's been hexed, is probably going to fall as well. So all of the archers are in huge trouble while the Demon Hunter is coming in for. Um, at least the rescue of one of them with the Staff of Preservation, but that was a very expensive creep camp. I mean, Nightwolf, he lost four archers here, but he got the level 2 on his Beastmaster in return, as well as the one of Mana Stealing, so was that worth it? That's a big question. He's got a lot of XP, the Orc's gotten a bit of XP for those archers, but at the same time, the talents have been delayed a lot on the side of the Night Elf, so we're gonna have to wait and see how this is going to pan out. In the late game, Shadow Hunter is being mana burned. Nightwolf is bringing a mud golem, and slowing the uh, Shadow Hunter. But does he really have the means to put that one in serious trouble? The first of the uh, talents is being staffed here, as it's pretty low in HP. It's only initiate, and um, yeah, therefore the map control should clearly belong to Ciara at this point. But he should perhaps try to not lose his radar while he's got that map control, and that is actually a pretty big blow here, losing you know one of the very important orc units early on at this stage of the game you know the raider the only raider that was able to provide and snare is uh, quite a big deal blade master is coming in perhaps yeah he's passing the boots of speed just trying to ensure his shadow hunter's life that way and uh, he's very easily able to do so but yeah losing the raider here quite an unnecessary and perhaps expensive loss another raider has spawned in the meantime <laughs> two more are queued up but he's forgotten the burrow. Wow, that is a huge deal. That is a potentially game decidingly huge deal. Because now he's got, you know, four grunts, a raider, a walker, blade master, and shadow hunter. Exactly his 40 supply army, minus the uh, scout peon he lost uh, previously up here. And that is going to delay everything for Ciara so much. He's going for the expansion here. And uh, perhaps already taking a bit of a gamble here. Beastmaster getting XP tome on top of things. And the Night Elf player has got such a huge level advantage here. Which is an absolute no-go usually in Orc versus uh, Night Elf. Especially with the Shadow Hunter, where you have to make use of that early map... Uh, you know... Map dominance, I always almost want to say. With the Shadow Hunter immediately on tier 2. But uh, yeah, that hasn't really worked out too well thus far for Ciara. Level 3, 3, 1 against Blade Master 3. Is the Shadow Hunter level 3? No, he isn't. Found the Boots of Kerthalas. Expansion is coming. Is Master finished already? No, it isn't. It is going to be finished 
just uh, as the push begins, so pretty much perfect timing by uh, Nightwolf. He's got one staff, he's got the orb, he's got uh, 40 supply against the 48, but those are not on the... F uh, those 48 uh, supply are not on the field yet for Nightwolf because... Uh, for Ciara because his Buru was uh, so late. So uh, Demon Hunter level uh, three and a half has taken quite a bit of damage here in this fight to begin with, but it's pretty difficult for Ciara to currently engage and I think that should at least give uh, Nightwolf the time to kill his expansion and then decide to uh, go from there and take the fight or not, but it looks like he's got the means already to do so, and as we can see, Ciara, using a mana potion right now, has to use the speed scroll to get out of there already, and uh, yeah, doesn't seem to have the means to fight at this time, and it shouldn't get any easier as the game progresses, because the Shadowhunter isn't really the perfect late-game hero choice, perhaps this Beastmaster is going to run into trouble, but as there are only two ensnares available, um, that isn't enough to keep the Beastmaster ensnared, therefore the Staff Preservation can be used, and at the end of the day, Another grunt is falling here, we, th we see a whole bunch of uh, orc corpses, but not a single night elf unit has died thus far in the fight, if I see this correctly, well actually the one archer has died, that has survived previously, but that's it, Blade Master has to TP on top of things, and I guess with his all of his heroes being somewhat low HP, it's probably now time for Nightwolf to consolidate, or not, getting two years close on his Beastmaster, uh, on his uh, Tinker of course, to perhaps do what, continue being aggressive here, he uses one of them immediately and uh, decides to take away the uh, goblin merchant of his opponent, finding another sentry board and placing one of those immediately and this blade master is in trouble already and there's the GG by Ciara, a very one-sided game there in the end, I mean, that's just what can happen if, uh, you know, the orc player ends up making one very crucial mistake. Um, he, well, more than one, of course, but the forgetting the burrow was definitely a huge setback. Uh, the early game seemed quite balanced. Nightwolf got away with creeping his, well, didn't really get away for free, but he at least got the mercenary camp crept. And, um, he lost four archers in return, which is which was big, but I guess the uh you know he at least got some value out of those. And while his talents weren't all too uh, early, the um you know delay of uh, Ciara's tech kind of made up for that. And at the end of the day, it was uh, both of the players where they kinda should be. Um Nightwolf at about 40 supply and Ciara just getting to 50, so um, perhaps Ciara delayed even a little bit more, you know, just getting to 50, getting that second um, walker out, very much delayed, is quite a big difference, because there was no mana regeneration for a while on that one, so uh, a lot less mana to work with on that one, and on top of things, we had 3-3-1 three, three, hero levels against 3-2 uh, three, three hero levels, which is just impossible, basically, usually for the orc, to uh, win with, and that just made for an end fight that Nightwolf was able to win quite handily. So yeah, he's taking the first map, and that puts us at a uh, pretty important second map, which is going to basically be uh, the one important map to, that we have left in this best of three, as, you know, if Nightwolf wins, then the best of three is over, if Ciara wins, then nobody cares about the third map so uh, yeah as I said pretty important one coming up and uh, it's going to be on mobile